And I have learned so many uh, things from Waziri and I'm very grateful and glad to actually be closer to her today because I have been following her um, uh, on social media, on YouTube. When I was mentioned as the uh, CS for public service, I had to actually do my research and uh, one was on her. <laughs> so I learned so many uh, things and I have picked, I, I picked to making sure that um, I give it, I give it the best. And uh, with the team of, uh, with this team of men and women of competence, I think uh, this uh, uh, ministry will continue to flourish. So allow me to read my, my speech then uh, as usual. <laughs> so, <laughs> Professor Kobia, PhD, EGH, my colleague and outgoing cabinet secretary, Hon, Dr. JB Kilimo, EGH, chief administrative secretary, principal secretaries, Ms. Mary Kimonye, CBS, and Professor Colette A. Suda, CBS, Ministry officials present, members of the press, uh, good, morning. good morning. I am pleased to join you this morning to this ministerial handing over ceremony. At the onset, I wish to express my gratitude to His Excellency the President for appointing me as Cabinet Secretary for the Public Service, Gender and Affirmative Action. It is indeed humbling and a great honor. Allow me to appreciate the outgoing cabinet secretary for her strong, and this I wanted this to be in bold, and indeed it is in bold. <laughs> um, allow me to appreciate the outgoing uh, cabinet secretary for her strong leadership and hard working during her tenure in this ministry. I look forward to continue her legacy and draw upon her wisdom. Ladies and gentlemen, the ministry sits at the core of our national development. On the one hand, public service is the engine of service delivery to the citizens. And on the other hand, gender and affirmative action are weighty and urgent issues that our nation must, fo must focus on. If we are to attain all inclusive and transformative development, women forms the majority of our population. I joined this ministry full aware of the enormity and importance of the assignment before me and the team I will be working with, as well as the high expectations of Kenya regarding the performance of this ministry. It is therefore important to note that we have no choice but to hit the ground running. I am encouraged to know that I will benefit from the work my predecessor, Professor Kobia, who has ably steered the ministry and delivered transformative programs to women, youth, and PWDs, especially under the affirmative action programs and spearheaded development of critical policies for public service management. Thank you, Waziri. Thank you, Madam CS. I wish you well in your future plans. CS Cobia has this morning given me a detailed brief of key priorities and achievements of the ministry. I will be guided by the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto, built on this achievement on each of key areas of focus. I will, on the public service, I will, I will work to ensure that we have an, an efficient and effective public service through one having the right people with the right skills in the right jobs efficient utilization of public resources that to reduce wastage while increasing performance and productivities adherence of national values and principle as per article 10 232 and chapter 6 of the constitution 
to continue to drive in bringing transformation in public service delivery agenda of the public service at both levels of government.